You should be using Google Go right now. Well, I don't know if you know Google Go, it's another form of browser from Google, but it has these uh, useful things that you can kind of use while browsing as compared to Google Chrome browser into your app. And I've been using it around late 2019, then I find it useful up to now. So I wanna share it with you in case you wanna use it into your mobile phone. So let's do it right now. So this is Google Go. And um, your browser, Google Chrome, is this browser or this browser. So I put it on my home button because every time I'm going to search, I like using Google Go. So I'm going to open Google Go. Then you can have uh, this homepage wherein uh, you will have the search down here. Then you'll have it also here, voice search. You can use that icon. And then, oopsie, you can also click this one for camera translate understand okay yes so if in case you want to translate something you can use this one take a picture of what you want to be translated for example we're going to do it like um, read me first I'll just go ahead so I'll just take a picture of this read me first let's try to see okay there you go then what I'm going to do is translate this one. Re read me first. So I'm going to translate that. I'll just go do it like that. You can change the language here. Let's go ahead. Translation language here. We can do it in, let's say, I don't know. Um, what do I have here? Dutch. Let's try to see. Then there you go. You can see it's translated. I don't really know how to read that one because I don't know Dutch. So that's one of the things you can do. Take a photo. You can take a photo with this camera translate button here and uh, it can translate into something. Now, the second thing you can do is, um, the other one is you have here at the bottom, here at the bottom, you have the same icon translate this one. So you can click that take one and it is the same. So I'll go back here then if you want to search on the web and you don't want this one to be saved, you can click on this icon here, the incognito mode on browser. So you can click that one and it will change into something. Your searches won't be seen by anyone else using this phone. So maybe I don't know which one you're going to search. Okay. So the next one here is just click that one. If uh, you will have the, you're, you're going to save your, uh, search results like me. I'm track every time I'm going to search. I have the latest search that I, ma I made here. That's Tesla stock, D2 stock, NFL, and that's it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this search button. Another feature we're going to have here is going to be listed here the trending kind of news. So you'll have it there. Okay. So before you're going to search, you might want to read some of these ones. Okay. Another feature that you're going to have here is if you want to be updated with some kind of uh, news feeds of the things you have been searching for, you can just go ahead and slide from left to right, then it's going to load up all the things that you are following. Like for me, I do much about basketball, then Tesla. So it's going to give me these um, news feeds here. So you have um, Windows 10, Samsung phones, and the like. So if I want to go back, I'll just go ahead back and slide. Now, on the other hand, from uh, right to left, you're going to go for uh, a categorization of apps. So there are listed apps here that you want to use. I uh, don't kind of use this one, but it might be useful for you. It already categorizes all these uh, links here. You can go for, uh, let's say, I haven't installed an app for, let's say, Wattpad. And it's going to jump me into Wattpad. Okay, so that's uh, the use of this one. So, so it has all this list here and it's up to you. Now, the good thing here, it has a category up here. So if you go for entertainment, then all the entertainment kind of things will be listed here. Like you have YouTube, Dailymotion, K-pop map. If you want to go shopping, these are the shopping things that you can go for. If you want to go for banking and finance, there you go. And then if you are searching for something for travel, then you have these links right away. And it's up to you if you want to put this one into this um, homepage here. You can add an app here. You want to have Wikipedia. You can put the one. Wikipedia is already on your home. Let's say this one. Okay, so it's going to be added there. 
another feature that you're going to do is like listen to web pages. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and uh, if you don't want to read for for me, I'll go for let's say Elon, mm, Elon here, and I'll just go ahead and press this play button down here, okay? Um, and it's going to read this one instead for me reading those one. If I don't know how to read it, then this Google Go can read that one. Fires back at Waymo's CEO after he said Tesla was no competitor at all. Okay, that's good. Published by Business Insider India. Waymo CEO John Krafchick There you go. It's Tesla reading the article. article in the autonomous vehicle market. In response, Elon Musk called the company out on Twitter yeah. saying So it's up to you can also forward this one 10 seconds the, which began as a Google project out on Twitter Sunday saying Tesla has better AI hardware and software okay. than Waymo. So I think that's a very cool especially if you don't want to read you are busy with something you just maybe you're cooking and then you just want to listen to this article so you can just go ahead and play this uh, feature from Google Go. So that would be very, very helpful. You can also have uh, this one, especially use light mode. Um, if you are going, if you are traveling and the internet data is, very, is low because of the change of location, you can turn on use light mode and it's going to show basic web pages to save data so that you're not going to spend too much speed or it's not going to rely too much on data on the web pages that's going to um, be viewed. So that will be another helpful tool for you if you are using the Google Go. So yeah, I can turn that on so that maybe if I'm using my mobile data, then it would be helpful, especially if it's having a hard time loading the web pages because I have a slow internet connection, especially if you are traveling, okay? So that's just about Google Go. You can explore it. It's a free thing there that you can download from Play Store or maybe App Store if they have it for Android. Well, for me, it's very helpful. And I hope it's going to be helpful for you guys as well. So um, if you are not yet subscribed, guys, consider subscribing in my YouTube channel. We're going to have more videos. I'm going to grind this year and come up with informational content for you guys. So help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers. And I hope to see you in my next video.